Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So now, I honestly, I really don't know where to kind of start or begin. Um, kind of why I've stopped making videos over the last couple weeks, month, month and a half or whatever it's been. I know it hasn't been too long and there's been stretches throughout my channel where I've done probably longer uh, without making videos. Um, but this one was a little bit different. I was actually uh, got COVID and got sick from that. So that's kind of why I haven't been too busy on here lately. Now, thankfully, I didn't get it too, too bad. Um, first sign that I thought I probably had it was when I woke up and I couldn't smell the cologne that I sprayed on. And then I went downstairs and tried to drink something and I couldn't taste it. So that was a big red flag. So the next day I went and got tested. And yeah, I tested positive. Um, that was, I think, March 30th or something. And it's... May 1st now, so it's been a long month. Um, yeah, so the COVID I got, uh, it was it was an interesting time. It was, like I said, I didn't get it too, too bad, so I'm pretty darn lucky. I could definitely see it being a huge problem for some people. It was not fun by any stretch. Um, the biggest thing between, obviously, losing my sense of smell and taste, which did come back after about five or six days, was I was exhausted. Literally the simplest, meaningless task drained every energy out of me. I even started, I was going to start uh, like a little COVID vlog. Just kind of share my experience. I got about two or three days into it and I was done. I couldn't even bother to turn on the camera. That's how exhausting it was. Well, going downstairs to the kitchen to cook food, out of the question. I couldn't do that. Uh, showering took every bit of effort I had, which was very bizarre. Um... It was just a really strange feeling, like like going downstairs, I cannot, I mean, I'm a little out of shape right now, you know, gyms are closed and everything, so I was kind of getting a little short of breath, but um, yeah, like I said, just going downstairs was so difficult. It was the weirdest thing I've ever experienced, um, at least health-wise. It was interesting, that's for sure. Then I'd say kind of after all the symptoms and everything, I felt good and kind of the energy was coming back. I had a cough that was lingering for almost three weeks, probably, maybe two. Um, and, and I don't smoke at all. I've never smoked. I've, I've smoked a couple cigars here and there. But, like, I don't know what that smoker cough feels like. But after going through this, that's what I would imagine it kind of felt like. It was like a deep, like powerful cough that just would not go away so it made doing videos kind of impossible because I just every time I was talking I was coughing um, if I wasn't talking or just kind of mind my own business laying down watching TV it was pretty fine but as soon as I started talking it just wouldn't stop but between all that honestly it, it could have been a lot worse and I'm pretty happy that it wasn't um, pretty darn fortunate to be completely honest and Bit of a blessing in disguise because I was able to watch a lot of hockey, a lot of Carolina Hurricanes hockey games, some Rangers games, a bunch of wild games, a um, bunch of actually Detroit Red Wings games, uh, some Nashville games. Like it, it was a pretty good time to be honest because I got to watch probably more hockey in the past almost month, month and a half uh, than I have in almost two or three years. It was fantastic to be honest. COVID aside, but um, yeah, it was great. But during that time, um, kind of had some time to, you know, obviously watch hockey and, and just take some time to myself and think about things and everything. And kind of hopefully get back to normal here a little bit. Um, me and my girlfriend are probably going to be trying to order like one of those air bikes um, just to kind of put in our living room because the gym's closed and I don't think they're going to be opening up anytime soon. Uh, Pre-COVID I was going to the gym you know for at least two and a half hours three hours a day you know getting in 45 minutes of cardio, weights, the pool, hot tub, sauna, showering and leaving kind of the whole thing and then during COVID when I kind of went back a little bit in 2020 it was very different. It was you couldn't be there for longer than an hour. The pool was closed, the hot tub, sauna, none of that. Um, they didn't even want you really in the changing rooms. So it's probably going to be a while before gyms go back to normal. 
and I have no self-control when it comes to eating junk food and shitty food. So, yeah, talking right now, going up the stairs, not COVID related, but it's taken a lot out of me because I put on a couple pounds. So we're going to order that air bike, I think, hopefully this week and kind of, you know, I'll be able to just go in and do that while we watch TV or watch a hockey game. Um, I thought about actually getting actual outdoor bikes, but I kind of want something that we can use throughout the whole day. It doesn't take too much effort, to be completely honest, and we can use it year round. Because I really, I really want to get back into some, some shape. In 2019, I was doing pretty good. I was kind of slowly starting to see some really nice results. And that pretty much went all, all whole window pretty much last year. Uh, and then this year, it's just kind of gotten a little bit worse as well. So I need to put a stop to that before it gets a little too out of control for me. So that should be fun. Um, it's not necessarily a cheap investment. It's going to be about six... No, I think it was... 1400 or something. Um, I'm gonna buy it brand new and I looked at some cheaper ones and I looked at some used ones but I don't know there's something about me that I don't really like buying used things or cheap things if I can just put the money in it up front and get a good product I'll do that. Um, not really hockey related or anything but hopefully that'll help me get back into shape which might in turn help me get back into playing some hockey whenever that's allowed again. But in the meantime, um, we should be able to do a jersey unboxing here pretty soon because I have a couple jerseys coming from Ben, um, hopefully within the next two or three weeks, depending on how my work goes. Uh, we're just having patio tables, so there's no people allowed inside the restaurant that I work at at the moment. Um, so patio tables, we're completely dependent on the weather and it's raining right now, so I worked a bunch last week. I might only get one shift this week, so we'll see how that goes, but if I can get the last couple little funds put aside to get that jersey order put in, we'll definitely have a nice big jersey unboxing. And actually I have a jersey to show you because I didn't really do an unboxing of it, but I'm really excited and I'm pretty excited to show you guys. So just give me a quick second and I'll show you that. <clears throat> Alright, so the jersey I got is a Champions Hockey League, so the CHL, not the Canadian Hockey League, um, Olun Karpat jersey with UC Jokinen on the back. Um, now if you remember, I do have one other CHL jersey that I have the Salzburg Redberg, Salzburg Red Bull jersey, uh, Thomas Raffle, and I absolutely love that jersey. It's a little bit small though. I didn't really consider the sizing of it. Um, so I got one that would actually fit me properly and it kind of helps even out the UC opening collection. Pretty much just need his Detroit Red Wings preseason and his Cloton Swiss League team jersey. And yeah, the opening collection is getting pretty close to done. Also I got this, uh, don't mind the hair, I don't know, it's a little long these days. I'm trying not to get a haircut until things kind of go back to completely normal and I can go and get a haircut without a mask, so my hair is driving me up the wall. But I got this really sweet Montreal Canadiens hat. Um, it was designed by Shea Weber, I guess, and it's got the old logo on there, which I absolutely love. Give you guys a little bit of a closer look up, look at it. So we've added another gangster hat to the collection and yeah, this is probably one of my favorites that I have right now. Um, I think I have one more coming from the States as well and I'm pretty excited for that. I'll show you guys that when I get it. So then once we get the actual jerseys from Ben that I'm hoping to get here, uh, I should be good to go for a jersey collection video, which is something I've been meaning to do for the last like two years to be completely honest. And I didn't really know how to go about doing it, but I've figured out how I'm going to do it. And I'm just decided that I'm going to do just individual videos for each team. So I'll do one for non-NHL teams. That'll be kind of one video. Then I'm just going to do individual teams. I'll do Anaheim, do Boston, Buffalo, LA, Minnesota, Montreal, Ottawa. Kind of all in alphabetical order. I actually might go from Winnipeg all the way down to Anaheim. 
just because uh, I feel like Winnipeg gets a shaft a lot of times when things are in alphabetical order, so Anaheim fans can kind of learn how that feels. And that way I feel like some videos will be relatively quick and short and I can kind of just get in and out, like my Columbus one is not going to take long. My Pittsburgh one will probably be a long video because I have the most Pittsburgh jerseys for any team. Um, same with, you know, Carolina, LA, uh, a couple other teams, St. Louis, I have a lot of St. Louis jerseys, so... Some of those ones will be a little bit longer, but that way I can avoid doing a whole four hour long video if I were to try to do every single uh, jersey all at once. I'm mostly just trying to figure out how to get the channel monetized again because I had it monetized for a little while out and it was something on my end that I screwed up with. I got like a little like verification pin or something that I lost, so I haven't been able to verify my account. So I've been asking, uh, YouTube to mail me that thing again or whatever, or Google Pay, however that works. And I think it got sent to my old address, so I had to go and apply for, or request a new pin to be sent to this address. Um, I have no idea how long that will take, but once I kind of get that figured out, hopefully I can kind of get the channel monetized uh, again. Um, I thought I probably lost it because of some of the pictures or something that I might have used, but it doesn't seem to be the case. It just a matter of me actually verifying my account, so... Once that happens, I definitely want to try to do some of the, the Jersey videos when the channel gets monetized. So that should definitely help because those videos still do very well that I did, what, three or four years ago now? If you guys have any interest as well, I did start a Carolina Hurricanes based solo channel. Um, like I said, I haven't been able to really do any videos for the whole month of April, but I did, you know, uh, I unboxed a jersey on that channel and I did a Carolina Hurricanes jersey ranking list video. Um, I did a couple game reactions, which I'm not too sure if I'm going to kind of continue with those once I get back to working on that channel, but um, if you guys want, you're more than welcome to go check it out. If not, if you don't like it, the Hurricanes, that's completely alright. But yeah, that's kind of what's been going on with me. Um, yeah. That pretty much does it for this video, guys. Sorry, it was kind of a rambling, odd video. Uh, I have no real purpose to it, but just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update and see how you guys are doing. Let me know what's going on with you guys in the comments. I'd be glad to read that and catch up with some of you. Um, if you guys want, you can check me out on Instagram and Twitter as well. And yeah, we'll see you guys again soon. Take care.